Hey folks, Kevin with Space Cadets. Today, very quick, very simple video. Wanted to talk about how to take advantage of live views and how to set them up in Unify Protect. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward, nice little feature which just allows you to set predefined camera groupings that fit your needs for monitoring a location. In this example, we're gonna be looking at a, a, a jewelry retailer. They've got a couple of different cameras in the front and in the back and <clears throat> We're setting up views that help them monitor their store in a way that fits with where they have their monitor set up for actually looking at the camera, the cameras themselves. So it'll be pretty fast. I hope you find the content helpful. And if you do, I would ask, please like and subscribe. Always helps the channel. And with that, we'll jump in. Thanks. All right. We're going to cover how to set up and specify new custom live views for Unify Protect. So I have the Protect application up here. And if you want to have custom views or settings of uh, groups of cameras that you can look at, you're gonna come into this live view section over here. And you'll see at the bottom, there is a select live view button. And this is where you can choose previously saved uh, live view cameras. So I actually set this up previously. I'm going to um, delete this if I can make this from scratch. But once you're in here, any previously saved live view that you have, you can go and specify what you want to be able to look at. And if you want to make a new one, you come here, you would say add live view. You can choose the name for it. So we'll call this for cam, and it's going to be point of sale, background, gem desk, door. Now, one thing that's important is you're going to want to choose share. This is just so that way when you make a view, anyone else who's using the system can access it. Um, otherwise, only you will be able to see it. So for me, making this for a customer, unless I hit the share button, you won't be able to make it, take advantage of it. Um, so that's the overview. On the grid, you can choose what sort of layout that you want. So one camera, four cameras. Unfortunately, with four cameras, you can't specify one to be larger than the other. They're predefined grids, but we'll use this four camera view. And then we'll do this in order of point of sale and back room, uh, gem desk, and front door. And just like that, we now have our new my view. We're going to save that. And it's going to put it into place. So very easy for us to pull that up. If we want to switch to another one that's showing all of the front of the store, we can. Um, now you have that view. So again, if you need to get to these, you're going to want to click this little floor grid over here on the left-hand side. And then you can change between your views here or make a new one. Hope this helps.